Hi, I'm Becky Stern. Welcome to the craft video. It's upcycling month at craft, so we're going to learn how to make this, a stylish chain link headband or necklace or belt out of this, a broken bicycle inner tube. If you get a flat tire on your bicycle, it's really easy to change the tube yourself. So if you don't know how already, there's dozens of how-to videos online for learning how to change your own bike tube. And that way, you'll end up with your own dead bike tubes to use for this project. If you don't change your own bike tubes, you can get them from the local bike shop. Chances are, if you ask, they'll just give you broken bike tubes for free. I first learned about this project from Britt McMaster's blog, Cucumbersome.com, and she used leather. So you can go to the thrift store and get a used leather jacket that maybe has a stain on it and uh, use that for this project instead. All you need for this project is your busted inner tube, a needle and thread, a ballpoint pen, this figure eight template you can download from the website, and a pair of scissors. The first step is to cut off the valve of your bike tube. Next, cut all the way down the length of your bike tube to make a long rectangle. There's all this powder on the inside of the bike tube, so I'm also going to wash that out. So when you print it out from your computer, then trace it onto a scrap piece of cardboard, or in my case, illustration board, to give yourself something stronger to trace around. When your bike tube is clean and dry, you can lay it out on the table and start tracing the eights onto the inside of the tube with your ballpoint pen. I try to get them as close to each other as possible to minimize waste. in half and make a little snip inside the outline and then you can cut out the inside too. Repeat this process for all of the eights down the line of the tube. So my bike tube yielded 23 figure eights, but I have pretty small bike tires, so you might get more out of yours. But 23 is enough to make a headband or a necklace, but if you want to make a belt, you'll probably need more. So the next step is to take one of the figure eights and fold it in half. And then, just like a paper chain you might have remembered making as a kid, take another figure eight, slide it through the hole in the previous one, and then fold that one in half. The rubber's a little bendy, but once you get the first one there, it'll hold the previous one flat. And then just keep going in that way until you've got a long chain. the last loop it's time to join the round so make sure it's not twisted and bring your last loop and your first loop together you can see that when I sandwich them this way the way they would uh, normally lie if they were normal links that I'm just gonna make a slice right where the first loop I made uh, will cover up the last loop seam. So I'm gonna cut it right there where it overlaps both on the front and the back part of the loop, just like this. And then I'll tuck those loops in so 
sort of thread them onto the one side of the cut loop. And then I'll just sew up that slit that I cut with my needle and thread. So now when I slide the first loop to its normal resting position, you can see that it covers up the seam. And now I don't have to worry about the orientation of the necklace or headband or belt when I'm wearing it. If you make your own upcycled chain link accessories, I want to see them. So put a picture in the craft Flickr pool. And don't forget to check out craftscene.com all month long for more upcycling projects. I'm Becky Stern, and I'll see you next time on the craft video.